After that dramatic chase in Santa Barbara Monday, we talked to Sergeant Mike McGrew, who had his foot run over by the RV involved. He's sidelined for now and says the officers involved demonstrated bravery and even restraint from using lethal force when the man at the wheel was terrorizing the city. You have to learn how to play hurt. You know, the, the police work's a full contact job, so it's, you're going to get injured no matter what you do in this career. And, and you better be ready to, to fight when you are injured. He's hobbled, but hanging in there. Santa Barbara Police Sergeant Mike McGrew has a broken right foot suffered in a violent scene on Monday. McGrew and several police officers first tried to stop Anthony Griffin, who was in an RV on Anacapa Street, where a domestic dispute was reported. Griffin was said to be drunk, acting crazy. He would not cooperate and had cut his neck with a knife. Even after police broke a window and fired a taser at Griffin, the fight escalated. And that's when McGrew, who had Griffin in his clutches, was run over. And at one point, he just posted his left foot down on the floorboard, and he threw the uh, gear shift into drive. And at that point, he just put the foot on the gas, and everything just started flying. Uh, I was hanging on, and I kind of went underneath the, the motor home. I yelled at my partner to just let go because uh, at this point he was driving us, he was dragging us down the street. Griffin took off wildly, speeding through several streets, hitting police cars, a school bus with children on board, and several parked cars. When his RV broke down, Griffin was brought down, trying to get out and get away. McGrew, a former college wrestler, is brawny in stature, and even with a crushed foot and for now sidelined from his injuries, his spirits in every way remain up praising god that i wasn't hurt worse and i'm just very fortunate not to have any worse injuries and i think you know with what everything that happened to come out with just a broken foot is i was a, I was a pretty lucky guy yeah the entire incident was very dangerous i mean there's everybody was exposed to extreme danger and everybody just acted with uh, bravery and professionalism through the entire incident i was just really proud of everybody i'm just blessed to work with all these officers who who put themselves in harm's way every day for for the rest of our community McGrew says one of his fellow officers, Jay Benson, a motorcycle cop, is recovering from hand and arm injuries after suffering those injuries during this violent pursuit as well. And all of us here, of course, wish them a speedy recovery. Well, we have the very latest on that North Fire. We've been telling